All right, from the gift of giving to a plain old gift, chances are you'll do some online shopping this holiday season, but not all deals are as jolly as they may seem. There are Grinches out there lurking in the bushes and they are looking to steal more than your holiday spirit. I want you to welcome Joel Hollenbeck. Hollenbeck, he is uh, of Checkpoint Technologies uh, and he joins us on the show this morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're glad you're here. Thank you for having me. Talk to us a little bit about what kinds of scams you normally see this time of year. Yeah, so brand impersonation is the name of this game. And in fact, since the beginning of November, over 20% of the malicious emails that we've been seeing have been impersonating brands, specifically around shipping, orders, and deliveries. Mm. So the, the scammers are using this, right? They're, they're all making orders online, they're, they're expecting shipments, and these emails are purporting that the, the, the recipient of these messages has to take action in order to receive those, those uh, packages that are coming. So then they follow those links, they go to these websites, and of course they fall into a malicious hole and they're taken advantage of there. Other brand impersonation are the things that we expect every holiday season. Things such as, you know, brands that are in high demand combined with too good to be true deals on those brands, such as Louis Vuitton's a hot one this, this, mm. uh, this season. So if you follow those too good to be true things or you fall into these scams around shipping this year, um, it's definitely something to avoid. It could, it could spoil your Christmas for sure. I feel sometimes like when I'm shopping online that no matter what I do, it, you know, I'm going to sub subject myself to exposure to these scams. What are some tips that people can do to try to keep from getting scammed? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I think it's all about having a healthy skepticism, mm -hmm. right? You're going to get the emails. People are going to shop online. You, you want to be skeptical about messages that you get. You don't want to click on those links. You always want to go to trusted and authentic websites in order to conduct your business. And you want to, you know, look for things like domain names that are spelled similar to the actual domain name and avoid mm. those. And just at all costs, right? Don't click on links and emails that you get. That's how the attackers get to you, right? They, they're going to send you emails with too good to be true deals, yep. whatever the case may be. You click on those and that's where you fall victim. And is it still when we get to a website that has the little padlock in, up there in the URL that, that that's generally a safe place to be doing business? That could be a good indicator, but it's not the be all end all, okay. right? Keep in mind that the cyber criminals are very sophisticated these sure. days and they could use encryption on their, their mm -hmm. websites even though they're malicious and fake. Right. And so you cannot rely upon that as the only indicator. But I like that rule of thumb that if, it, yeah. if we go back to, and I know there's no, yeah. there's there are exceptions to everything, but that yeah. one rule of thumb that is, if it seems too good to be true, yeah. it probably is. Right? 100%. All right. Thank you so much. We yeah. appreciate it. Have a good holiday and don't get ripped off. Yeah. <laughs> we